Hi, in the previous video, you learned how to spy elements from Windows applications. This is Blue Prism Associate Developer Certification Overview document. In this one, if you come to this scope, you can see causes of previously spied elements suddenly not being found. So we are going to find out the reason why if we have previously aspired this, that element and that time it was working fine but after that it is it was not working so what is the reason and how to fix that issue so let's go to this blue prism studio and this is the ui demo automation let me double click on this this is the objects okay click on this application modeler that we created earlier in the previous video now click on this this login page click on launch okay so this is the application and these are the elements that we aspired okay now let's let me click on user name text box earlier it was highlighting correctly now if i'm going to click on that it is showing that unable to match any windows with the query terms so now why we are getting this issue let's go to the password text box click on highlight same issue click on this login button highlight here same issue okay so how can we fix that so let me first click on username text box now click on this match now you can see here first find out how many attributes that we have checked so these are left side we have these are the attributes name you can see these are the attributes which help us to identify that element and these are the value which assigned to this attributes name okay so to fix this issue what we can do now first find out all these attributes where the value is blank uncheck this there is no need to keep it now if you will remove all this unnecessary attributes where the value is blank so it will help blue prism to find that element quickly uncheck all this where the value is blank now you can scroll down now there is a class name so you need you need to remove this you need to uncheck this class name this class's name is not required because we have the some values added here so let's uncheck this one now try to click on highlight here now you can see here's highlighting the same username so issue is with the class name now let's go to the password text box in the previous video when we spied this element that time it was working fine with the class name but when we close that and open again it is not working okay so now for this text box just click on this and uncheck all the attributes where the value is blank okay and then uncheck this class name also now click on highlight you can see it's highlighting now go to login button same way just uncheck all the attributes where the value is blank and then uncheck this class name now click on this one again now we have only few attributes which has the value and which is unique now if you want to modify this also you can modify and you can keep some unique and sort attributes for now let's click on highlight and you can see it's highlighting that login button and by this way you can fix this issue now click on apply click on ok and now let's try one more time open this application modeler close this and click on login page click on launch and then click on highlight and you can see it's working fine